Hey everybody, I'm Paul. And I'm James. And of course, this is Chompers. Chompers. Nancy does this morning. <laughs> she does not want to film today. No, no. Sit down. A little shy. Sit down. You want to keep up? We're coming to you from a campground called Coastal Acres in Provincetown. And this is Massachusetts. Provincetown, Massachusetts. Right on the end of the Cape. Can't get any further. This is as far as we're going to go this, this summer. And it's probably as far as you can go without yeah. getting in the water. We've been here before. This is literally walkable to town, so it's a great place to plant your RV. Coastal Acres has about 100 sites. They can take Class A's, B's, B's C's. C's. They have full hookups, which is very, very nice. Um, some seasonal sites, quite a few seasonal sites. So there's a lot of people around that are, you know, settled in for the entire summer. There's a tenting area too, so if you're just a tenter, oh, yeah. it's probably the pla cheapest place to get an overnight in all of Provincetown yeah, would definitely. be to bring a tent and pitch a tent here at Coastal Acres. <laughs> totally. There's an office, a, a little camp store, a shower house if you're a tenter and you don't want to use, uh, or if you don't want to use the uh, facilities in your RV. The best thing about this campground is there is a path, a little walking path that goes straight into town. And it's probably, shortcut. what, about 10 minute walk and you're right in the heart of Provincetown, right on Commercial Street. It's also close to bike rentals, restaurants, the beach. Yeah. There's, there's, there was no need for us to rent a car here. We brought our bikes. There's really no need to even rent a yeah. bike. But you know, if you want to bike around, it is a very, very there, bike friendly town. People it is. are running around on bikes. And there's bike trails and it's easy to bike to different yeah. beaches and things like that. Uh, so either, you know, you could come here without renting a car or you could bring a bike, rent a bike, or just do it on foot. You really don't, you don't need transportation. It's very, very compact. One fair word of warning is that we reserved this in December. Yeah. And it's August right now. So there are theme weeks pretty much every other weekend here in Provincetown. And so do look on the calendar and see if you want a busy week or not. Um, just really be aware that all summer long there's events going on, definitely. And if you're going to be here for more than a couple days, definitely, <clears throat> definitely book in advance. Uh, otherwise, you'll have a hard time. You might have to like have one site for one night and another site for another yeah. couple nights and move around. We see a lot of that here. So if you want a consistent time at the campground, book early. So what do we do in Provincetown? Well, there's tons to do in right. Provincetown. It's no secret it's a gay mecca, so there's a lot of yeah. colorful activity going on. There's the beautiful beach, which is easy to get to. Like Paul said, biking paths. Yeah. Of course, restaurants. There's a lot of entertainment that comes here through the summer. We saw Miss Richfield, Yeah, we took in a show. There's lots of shows every night. I mean, you could probably do a show every night if you wanted to. You could, to. seriously. And like James said earlier, there's theme week. So with every theme, there are different events that you could show up to. There's, there's just tons to do in Providence. Yeah, kayaking, there's probably sunset cruises, you know. It's it's on yeah, the ocean, so yeah. it's just uh, a lot of it. A lot of it centers around Commercial Street, very busy street. All the restaurants are on it, bars, shows. It's kind yeah. of the center of town. So if you don't have plans, just walk down Commercial Street, you'll find something to do. So James, what do you think? This is our second second season here at Coastal Acres. What yeah, do you think I mean, of this campground? This is like Full a, hookups, walkable to town. This is like an eight and a half. It's the wow. cheapest hotel that you're going to get in Provincetown, that is for sure. This wow. is our third house uh, using the uh, RV as a hotel this summer, the third time. Uh, so, you know, it's a great so way to see a give, town or city. Why wouldn't you give it a higher rating? I personally, well, I'd I give it a 9.5. <laughs> I mean, it's got full hookups. We don't need transportation. You're well, walkable to everything. <laughs> I'd say 9.5 to 10 for me. I don't give tens. I know. So, so, so I said 8.5, didn't I? It's pretty low, though. I think 8.5 is almost nine, which is my almost ten. All right, all right. right I guess we'll let him away, get away with that. But I, I think, hey. oh, there goes Chomps. <laughs> She's ready for filming <laughs> yeah, her yeah. close up. Anyway, so if you do want to come out to the Cape. The drive out here was super easy. Wow. It wasn't as bad as you'd think. It's actually a pretty nice improved road, real easy. Even our friends in Class A's made it out here. So plan on coming out here. It's not that it's not that hard to get here. It's a great campground. All size RVs are welcome. So definitely two thumbs up from us. Absolutely, <laughs> thumbs up. So if we'll see you in the Cape next year, or Let if we know. see you out on the roads, whatever you're doing, be safe out there. Travel safe. Travel safe. Have don't, a good time. Yeah, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button oh, yeah. and turn your turn your notifications on on your iPhone so that when you hit the bell, you'll get a little notification every time we do a new video. So thanks for watching. Take Travel care, everybody. Safely. Adios. Bye.